Hey team, I'm Sydney Snow. I'm one of the teachers from Utah. I teach at the residential treatment center called Telos. Um, I thought I'd bring you on a little classroom tour to show you more about my room. So, welcome to my classroom. We have 10 seats in the class. That's the maximum amount of students that we'll have in one class at one time. And here we go. So every day the students will walk in and there is, I call it a starter, a warm up, whatever it might be, a question on the board. Sometimes it's having them draw something or recall vocabulary that we talked about yesterday. It's usually related to what we're doing today. I know that seems crazy, but that question is related to what we did today. So they'll come in and they fill out their starter. And then up here on the board, I try to write out what we're doing every week, including learning objectives or skills, as well as requirements, what they're gonna be graded on so they know Students, um, they care so much about the why here, they're obsessed over that. So I've noticed the more I can tell them why we're doing something, the more engaged they are. So I try and write it up so they know what's happening and why they're doing that and what skills they're learning. I have some of my art so they can trust me as an art teacher to teach them. Um, we have a Elements of Art poster. The Principles of Design poster has not yet arrived. So we're trying to get that up there to fill that awkward space. Um, over here, they turn everything in on the red I call it a wall hanger because I have no other ideas. So if you have a better name for my red wall hanger, please let me know. Anyway, they turn everything in over there and then any extras that they need, like extra copies of the notes or a starter, any blank paper, everything's over there. We have an incredible view of the mountains and the snow. Um, back here is the little blue file thing. It's kind of messy, but it's their territory. Again, trying to teach them accountability over their their space, so if they lose something, it's all their fault. That's important for them to learn, actually. Um, art supplies are back here in these cabinets. We do have six computers. The, the computers are part of what's called the maker space. So it's all about coding and web design, things like that. I'm not in charge of that. They have someone else doing that, but we are cleared to use the computers for Photoshop only. So in my photography classes, we do get to use Photoshop, which is a huge blessing. Um, I wish I could use them for more, but for right now, that's all I could manage. This is my uh, little inspiration shelf. You might enjoy that. Got to build that up, but that's the general gist of our classroom. That's how we do things here. There's one more thing I want to show you. It's my favorite part. So every week we do a different art project. I've noticed that when you break it up by weeks, the kid's attention span, that's, that's like the length that they can handle. So every week when they finish, I hang up their projects out here on a window that is displayed for the rest of the school. So other teachers, their staff, um, the vice principal, the principal, they can all walk by and leave sticky notes and comments on their artwork. The reason I did this is the first time we were doing some art projects, the kids just didn't care. They were rushing through and just slapping things down to fulfill the assignment, but without really thinking about it. And that's not what art is about, at least in my opinion. In an art class, it's about having fun and exploring yourself and getting to feel those emotions that art can get you to experiment with. And they weren't getting that. So one week I surprised them and I hung up all their artworks with their names below it. So there was a level of ownership and accountability. And I had all of those people listed that the students care about, that they want the feedback and approval from, come and leave their feedback on these art projects. And the next week, I can't even tell you, it was 180 degree change. These kids cared so much about their artwork. They tried so hard and I was so much busier because they wanted to learn the skills to improve and I loved it. So every week now we hang up their art projects with their names, people leave comments and it has improved so much. They take accountability, they care, then they take pride in their work. And that's what I was trying to teach them. A lot about our school is we're not just teaching school work, but we're also teaching like attributes and traits. So this is one of the ways that we can do that. And hang on one second, I'll show you around the outside of the window to show you what it looks like. So, like I was saying, here's the projects. This week we just did a simple wood burning, so they're a lot smaller, but as you can see, they each picked a goal for New Year's resolutions and then um, people left comments for them. It was really awesome. So yeah, that's probably my favorite part, is hanging up their projects. So, thanks for coming on our tour of my classroom. Um, still new, still decorating, still figuring out how to do everything, but it's been exciting and I love it. Um, let me know what you think or if there's any improvements that I can make. I'm so open to suggestions. Anyway, I'm excited to get to know each of you better and to improve.